Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to generate images without a background completely for free locally on your automatic 1111. Now you can also use this to remove backgrounds of images you've already generated or any other images for that matter. But I really like the idea of generating images with a transparent background in PNG right from the start. So of course for this you will need automatic 1111. Now it doesn't matter if you have this installed manually or using Pinocchio or something like that. Now to remove these backgrounds and generate these images without backgrounds you will need this extension in your automatic 1111. It's called Stable Diffusion Web UI RemBG Remove Background. I'll leave a link for this in the description but you won't need this link. So what we're going to do is we're going to run our Stable Diffusion automatic 1111. By the way if you don't have automatic 1111 yet just google it. it's really easy to install using something like Pinocchio. Anyway, once you're here, go to extensions, then go to the available tab and hit this load from button. This link will already be in here. Just hit load from. Then in this search box, we're going to type in RemBG. Now I already installed it, so it's not here, but there will be two and the other one will be the web UI automatic 1111 RemBG. You're just going to hit install on that. Once that's installed, it'll be under this install tab at the top here. As you can see, there is mine and it will already be checked. So all you have to do is just hit apply and restart UI. That will just reload the whole automatic 1111 for you. I've already done that. Now out of the box, this won't let you actually instantly generate the image without a background. So to be able to do that, you wanna go into settings, then scroll down and under post-processing, click on post-processing, then scroll up again. Then at the top here, you will see enable post-processing operations in text to image and image to image tabs. So you want to click in there and then we're just going to choose our RemBG remove background over there. So just click that. Now you can click out of this and that's the only one we need to put in there. Now all you have to do is hit apply settings and then reload UI again. And there we go. As you can see at the bottom now, we have the remove background button and box here. So just hit that button. Then you can choose a method of removing background. Now, some of these do different things, but the basic one is the isnet general use. As you can see, it's at the top there. So we're just gonna hit that one. But if this one doesn't work well for you, have a play around with some of the other ones. Obviously, if you're using anime, use the anime one. The clothes seg can actually separate clothing from images, but we'll just use this general use one for now. Also, if you hit alpha matting, there are some other options you can tweak, like the foreground threshold, the background threshold, and the erode size. Now, basically, if you up the erode size, it will decrease the border around your image that it is actually cutting out of the background. So you can play with that if it doesn't look too good, but we'll start with this. So uh, let's just generate an image with this. I'm just gonna generate an image of this woman and I'll make it a bit portrait mode there. Let's up this to 30 sampling steps as well. And this should automatically remove the background straight from our image. So let's hit generate. And there we go. It has automatically removed the background on this image here. Obviously the eyes are a bit weird. I haven't put a good eyes model in this one, but it completely removed the background. As you can see in some parts, it's not perfect because of this hair. But again, you can use the settings in alpha matting, especially this erode size. Play around with those and you can get a perfect image here. Alternatively, if you want to remove the backgrounds of already generated images or other images, you can go to the extras tab over here. So you just drag your image in here, go to the bottom, go to remove background, and it's the exact same process. And we just hit generate. There we go. Instantly does it. This one again, the hair is a little bit off here. Increase the erode size to 15. There we go. It's increased it a little bit. Here I tried it with this image. As you can see, because the llama is black and the background is lighter, uh, this works a lot better if there's easy contrast for it to see. So here is our image without a background. Also, one more tip. If you are generating images with no background straight away, you can increase the quality a lot by just typing in something like white background if your character has darker features or black background or even gray background that should improve the quality a lot so that was it for today's video another big thank you to noisy for sponsoring a small part of this video check it out it's an awesome tool for creating videos from music i also made a video about it it's really really cool also join my discord ai hq we're still very small just over 100 members but i want to do giveaways and competitions and a lot of other cool stuff so join there if you want to talk about ai and I'll see you in the next video.